Okay, now it's time to start our math 11. It's the first page of this week. I'm gonna start with my name as always, sitting on that line, my first letter's capital. All the rest of my letters are lowercase. All my letters are sitting on that base line. Okay, let's read our first section. I can add using a 10 frame. So how I'm going to add is I'm going to add how many fires plus how many some mores. Ooh, I wonder if this is in Mrs. Pop's classroom. So how many fires? Let's count them. One, two. I see there are two fires. So down here, I'm going to put two under the two fires. Then I'm going to count the some mores. One, two. There are two some more. So under the some mores, I'm gonna write a two. Now I need to know how many I have all together. When we're adding, we're putting them together. So I need to find out what two plus two is. One way is I can count. I can count one, two, three, four. There are four things all together. So I'm gonna write my four down, over, and down some more. That's how you write a number four. Now I'm gonna move on to this one. How many fires are there? There's one, two, three fires. So I'm gonna write my three around the tree, around the tree. That's how you write a number three. Notice that when I came back out around my tree, I didn't make a gap. I went back on the same path and then around the next tree. So there's no gap between the first tree and the second tree when you're writing your number three. All right, let's count the some mores. Ready? One, two. So I'm going to write my two around and back on the railroad track. Two, two. Now I need to know how many all together. So I'm gonna count all together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five objects all together because when we're adding, we're putting them together all together. So three plus two equals five. So I'm gonna write my five, make a neck, and a tummy, go back and put on his hat. That's how you write a number five. Now I wanna build up my finger strength, so I'm gonna color in my pictures. Okay, now let's do the middle section. Read with me. I can draw a worm that is longer. Remember, longer means that this worm is gonna be bigger or longer. It's gonna go further than this worm. If it was shorter, you would have one that isn't as long as this one. All right, here we go. So I am going to draw my worm and I'm gonna have him wiggly just like this one, but I'm gonna make sure he is longer. Making my wiggly worm. And I'm going to give him eyes just like this one. And segments. See how he has different segments? I'm going to give this one segments too. So my worm is longer than the book's worm. Next section. Ready? Read. I can draw dots to solve an equation. So we're gonna draw dots on our ladybugs that represent our number sentence, our equation. I'm gonna use my crayon so I can see my dots easier. So the first side, I'm going to put on two dots. One, two. The two is represented right here. It's two plus three. So the three I'm gonna represent on this side. One, two, three dots. Two plus three equals m. Mm. So one way I can find out what the m mm is, is I can start with one number and count up, or I can count all the dots. 
I'm gonna start with the biggest number, and I see there's more dots here, so I know three is bigger. So I'm gonna say three, four, five. Another way I could do it is I could go one, two, three, four, five, making sure I touch every dot. So now that I know my answer is five, I'm switching back to my pencil and writing my five. Make a neck and a tummy, go back and put on his hat, that's how you write a number five. I'm gonna go on to my next problem. On this side, it's one plus six equals mm. So on this side is a one, so I'm gonna put one dot. On this side, we'll have six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six dots. So now then, I'm gonna switch back to my pencil. I need to figure out what one plus six equals. I can say, hmm, I know six, one more is seven. So that is one way I can figure it out. I can go six, seven, or I can count all the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that one plus six equals seven. So I'm gonna start here, go across the sky, down from heaven. That's how you write a number seven. Switch back to my crayon. My last one, I'm gonna have four dots on this side. One, two, three, four dots on that side. And on this side, there will be two dots. One, two. So again, switching back to my pencil, I can say four plus two is mm. I can start at four and then count up. So I can say four, because I know there's four dots here. Four, five, six, or I can just count all the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're counting all your dots, make sure you touch each dot as you're counting them. To write a six, I'm gonna do a line and a loop. Our six makes a hoop. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Math 11.